Hello, in this video I want to show you just how quickly you can get started extracting BW data into your Power BI solution using DVW Analytics connector for SAP. So let's start in the XCS console where we configure our connections. If we look in the parameters tab then you can see the systems that we've got configured and that's very similar to the SAP logon pad. If we go to the configuration then you can see the connections that I've already configured to other queries and tables. But let's create a new one from scratch by clicking on the create button here. In the configuration window we can choose between an SAP table or a BW object. We give the connection a unique name and then we choose which system it is that we want to connect to. In this case it's a BW system. You can see it's retained my credentials and I can check that we can ping that system and the connection is available. I now switch to the parameters tab where I'm going to select the BW object that I want to extract data from. So if we look here, we can see in my history that we have info providers and queries and query views that I've used recently in the BW system. But if I use the search object, I can look at all the data providers that are available to me within my role in BW. I can put a search string in here. So let's put order and search. And you can see now that in the queries, here's the query that I want to use. And so I select the query and click OK. And the metadata for that query comes across into the configuration window. We can see here the key figures and the characteristics that are related to that query. Some are selected already, this is the initial view, but we can select whichever ones we want for our output. And we can also, if we like, add a filter by right clicking on any of the characteristics and adding a blank filter. Although, if we look in the filters and variables tab, there are already variables there that are defined within the query that can also be used and we see that this one marked in orange is mandatory so we need to fill a value into here. When we edit we see the values that are possible they're coming from the BW system and we can select um, a single value or maybe uh, we want to do a range so we can go from a low value to a, a higher value using the between operator and we select OK and that filter is transferred across and you can now see that it's turned that row to green so we're good to go. If I execute then a sample of data comes back and you can see that uh, our query is working well. So we save that configuration and once that's done we can close this window returning back to the master list of our configurations and then right click on the folder to get a copy of our OData URL which we then use in Power BI. And So if we switch over to Power BI now we can add a new data source. It's going to be an old data feed. We paste in the URL that we have just copied and that retrieves the list of configured connections that we have in the XCS console. We can select the particular one we want, obviously the one we just created and that brings back a preview of the query data which we can now load into Power BI itself. If we look on the right now then we see that the fields that we chose to bring across from that query will appear and they can be used and added in to um, standard Power BI functionality. And if we choose the table view, then we get the complete data set from our query. And so that's data from BW into Power BI in a matter of minutes. I hope this video was interesting. And if you'd like to see more, please visit our website. That's dvwanalytics.com.